What's up guys, this is Ryan and I'm really excited today to show you all of the new features that are included in the Gulf 2017 upgrades at thefantasyfanatics.com. We had an awesome year in 2016. We heard from many of you guys, lots of amazing feedback and suggestions and comments. Um, thank you for all that. Please keep it coming. We've been able to implement a lot of those suggestions and the site is much better now because of it. So. Thank you, and uh, let's dive in here to the features. I'll try to keep the video from running too long, but there is a lot to show, so let's try to get through it. Um, I'm going to start here with the weekly cheat sheet for the RSM Classic. I want to use a full field event to show you everything. Uh, if you've used the site before, you might notice the first thing that's new is at the top here, this models drop down. By far the most common feature request last year was the ability to save uh, multiple stat models each week and compare the results. Uh, so we now have that ability. Um, I'm going to start there and then we'll get into the new features of the cheat sheet in a second. So you click the stat models link in the admin box and this is your control center for the stat models. On the left you're going to see a list of the models that you have available. Every week you're going to start with this standard model. You can edit that model and just use that. You never have to create an, another model if you don't want to. But you now have the ability to create as many as needed. Um, you edit your model just like before, except now it's kind of organized a little better. You have your stats uh, where you just add or remove them using the checkboxes. You can uh, add or remove from the course history section using our filters to find any event in our database. And you can use a settings tab to control some of the weights and then you calculate your ranks and you have a model. Um, you can see I've created a couple different models here. I was using this DKPG heavy model. Uh, I just wanted to see the effect of some of the new stats we have here, uh, DKPG is a way to um, kind of track how a player performed based on fantasy points scored against the player against the field average. Uh, so I was testing that one out, and then I have a bombers model here where I just gave extra weight to driving distance, and I wanted to see what effect that had. So you can create as many new models as you want, set them up however you need to, uh, and then save them. You can set your default models, you can delete, or you can go back to the cheat sheet and view those models. You also notice this results tab here. After the tournament is complete, we'll have uh, fantasy points loaded, and then you can see how they ranked based on points scored uh, against your the overall rank from your model. So nice little way to back test how your your results work there. We also have this view experts models tab, where you can view a variety of models that we're going to have available each week. Um, check us out on Twitter to learn more about who these experts are. We're launching the new TFF Strategy Center also this week. And um, we're going to have, you can meet the analysts on that page or on, on the blog there. Um, but every week we're going to have GPP and cash models available for PGA. And we're going to have a GPP model available for the European Tour as well. So you'll be able to see the stats, the course history that was used their weights and settings, and then any targets that the experts have set um, on that model. And if you like it, you can choose to import that model into your own list, and then you can edit the model uh, as you see necessary. All right, so let's jump back to the weekly cheat sheet. I'm gonna look with the standard model here, but um, now that I have extra models created, you can see I can switch easily between them. Um, some of the changes around the cheat sheet involve limiting the player list to help you kind of focus your, your attention down to certain guys. Uh, you can use the salary filters here to limit the list. You can also use your, your target counts down here and now have a checkbox available, uh, which let you limit down which players are, sh are displayed. You can also use this as kind of a player comparison feature if you wanted. Like I could show only the green players and that way I only have a couple guys. Um, displayed and I can really focus on those guys but for this one let's just say um, I've already set my targets so I'm gonna go ahead and hide all the guys that I'm not targeting this week and now I can just focus on the guys I like so the cheat sheet itself um, we've got the this new notes column here you'll notice cooch if you hover over here I've got a note if you look below the cheat sheet we've got the TFF player notes section just like always which will show generally guys that have withdrawn or have an injury issue. But now we've got this custom player notes section below it um, that's gonna show any notes that you have saved. So if I right click on Kucher, I'm gonna go to the player lookup page here. 
which has been redesigned, is much uh, easier to use now, much more powerful. So we've got the recent form tab, which is going to show strokes gained by round. We've got the fantasy tab, which is going to show their salary and points scored and ownership and everything. Um, course history, you can filter by any event to see how they've done there. We've got yearly stats now by category, weekly stats, and then the notes tab. So you can save any custom note that you choose to for any golfer in our database. Uh, you can click this link here. It'll take you to your admin page where you can delete any notes that you have. But then those notes will automatically show up on the cheat sheet if that player is in the field. So you can save injury notes or maybe uh, you know, a player likes a specific type of course, type of green, whatever it is, you can save that note and it's going to show up and remind you uh, anytime that player's in the field. So a pretty cool feature there. Uh, scrolling to the right, you'll notice that color coding is much better this year. Um, full heat map is available and we've also, the recent form and course history sections are smarter now. They'll take into account the size of the field and color code accordingly. And then, <clears throat> so we've got the last big feature of the primary cheat sheet here is um, another very common request. You can now change your player exposure percentage directly on the cheat sheet. So if you want to raise Bill Haas up to 20%, you just click the percentage, click the check, and you're done. Um, and once we jump over to the generator page, uh, that's going to, you know, that'll automatically be saved and that's, that's the exposure percent percentage you'll get for that player. Uh, you may have noticed this view drop down here. So we now have seven different views that you can um, change the cheat sheet if you want to dive into some extra detail. We've got a key stats breakdown that's going to show their year-end rank for the last four years for every stat that you selected. We've got a recent form breakdown that's going to show you their, their scores by round and their strokes gained by round for the last um, however many weeks you have selected in the recent form section. Course history breakdown is going to show the same thing. Uh, but for the courses that you've selected or the events that you've selected. The lead-in performance tab, I think, is really cool. This is um, any event that you have selected for the course history. You're, this is going to show you their uh, previous six weeks leading up to that event. So you can kind of get a feel for how a player was performing before he won or before he you know, had a good finish in a previous event. We've got the DraftKings scoring and ownership tab. This is going to show... Uh, their salary, their DraftKings points, their birdies and bogeys, and their ownership. Uh, this is again set up based on the recent form, so this will show the past eight weeks. Um, and it'll show PGA or Euro, uh, depending on where that player plays. And then the last cool one, if you remember, we've got three stat models built up here. So now I can go to the stat model summary, and it's going to show their ranks side by side for all the different models that we have. And if you scroll to the right, you're going to get a high, low, and an average rank based on all the models you have. So this could be really powerful if you want to set up different models with some various tweaks and then just kind of see how they compare, see how a player does in the different sets of models you've created. Um, you can use this tab to do that. So I think that's everything on the cheat sheet. A couple new changes on the lineup generator. Um, you'll notice I have a few lineups created over here and they now have titles. Dog leg one, birdie, dog leg two, etc. I can just click on the lineup to edit, and then I can go ahead and type in a new name for that lineup if I choose to uh, organize my lineups in that way. And then the last really cool feature here, you won't use it every week, but um, those tournaments where weather plays a factor and you want to focus your lineups on one of the, you know, a specific tee group, you can now filter by tee times. So if you click this filter option here, it's going to show you the, the different tee times for this tournament and then your targets at each of those times. And if I want to limit it down, I can just use the check boxes. And now when it generates lineups, it's only going to, it's, you know, it's going to focus on only those guys. So really easy way to build a lot of lineups, um, you know, for an AM wave or a PM wave tee grouping if, if the tournament uh, lines up that way. All right, so I think that covers everything. Uh, make sure you check out the blog post on the updates. I may have missed a few things, but um, got all the important stuff. And if you're excited about the updates like I am, check out the Go Premium page. We have a lot of new membership options available. We have uh, three, six, and 12-month plans. You can get PGA on its own. You can do PGA Euro combos. 
whatever uh, whatever works for you. Um, check it out, and if you have any comments or questions, hit us up on Twitter. Thanks, guys.